Rovers kick off 2018 with a trip down to Red Hot Rotherham. We'll preview that match and more on today's show. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview. This time, building up to the big one, the big opening game of 2018 against Red Hot Rotherham. They are actually seventh place right now. Anyway, before I get stuck into the thick of things, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers in 2018 and beyond. It's going to be a busy old year, but enough about me. Let's get straight into the thick of things and start building up to kick off. So take a look at the match itself kicks off January 1st, 2018 at the New York Stadium. Last season, Rotherham finished bottom of the championship. They joined us in relegation to League One. Top scorer at the moment, Kiefer Moore, 13 goals this season. The man pulling the strings is Paul Warren. Let's take a look over the years. Rotherham winning 11 of them and losing 24. And the two sides have drawn six times over the years. Let's take a look at the history the last five times the last five appearances at the new york stadium have looked like this last season uh in league in the championship blackburn rovers and rotherham ended in a 1-1 draw before that also in the championship rovers picked up a 1-0 victory the last time rotherham won against blackburn rovers was uh also in the championship in 2014 2-0 winners before that, there was a bit of a gap, and that was a 1-1 draw in the League Cup all the way back 25th of September 1919. The top of the shop there, Rotherham, 3-1 winners over Blackburn Rovers all the way back to 1983, the 7th of May. So let's take a look at how the teams will line up, starting with Rotherham. Roddick in goal, Emmanuel, Volks, Ajay, Matok in the back line, Ford, Frecklington, Towel, Williams in midfield, and I've decided, uh, last time I didn't feature the top goal scorer, but Keith, Kiefer Moore and Ball up front. Let's take a look at the statistics. As I mentioned earlier, Kiefer Moore tops the goal scorers with 13 goals. Next up is Ball with five, Volks with five, Frecklington's got four. He was an early pace setter in the goal scoring chance was Frecklington. I think he even bagged the hat trick early on. Into the discipline, Wood with eight yellows, seven yellows for Mattock, six yellows for Volks. As does Ikikwi. Uh, excuse me on the pronunciation on that bad boy. Into the red cards. Matic's got two. Wood's got one. And Kiefer Moore has one. Let's take a look at the form book. Like I said, Rotherham are red hot at the moment. And we're actually playing them at probably the wrong time. We don't really want to... You know, if, if, if ever there's a time you don't want to play Rotherham, it's right now. Because they are... The last five games, they've only drawn the one. Uh, last time out, they picked up a away victory at Walsall. That was on uh, the 30th of December. Before that, on Boxing Day, 3-0 winners. Again, away from home against bottom of the table, Berry. Before that, 2-1 winners against Milton Keynes. Uh, last time they dropped some points was on the 60th of December when they drew 1-1 with Plymouth. And then all the way back to the 9th of December, Rotherham picked up a 2-1 victory at Gary Bowyer's Blackpool. So... So of a possible 15, Rotherham picked up 13 points, which finds them in 7th spot. Only 2 points outside the playoffs, uh, but they've played one more game than us. Uh, moving forward, Blackburn Rovers, let's take a look at how I feel they will line up against Rotherham. Um, I hope that they're going to be playing the blue-white halves. It's uh, Ryer in goal, Nayimbi, Downing, Mulgrew, Williams, Bennett, Smallwood, Evans come back, back into the lineup. Dak, Samuel and Graham up front. I think Antonsen might miss out due to an injury. Um, well, Evans is a touch and go for me. I, I'm just thinking that there's going to be some rotation because playing two games within 48 hours is madness and I'm sure there's going to be some casualties in there. Uh, I think Wittigum has, has stepped up the plate recently. He's made, uh, he's, he's starting to make that central midfield partnership with Smallwood look like his own at the moment. I think I'm, I would rather have Wittigum in than Evans. And it could even be one of Evans' last games in Blackburn Rovers shirt. I'm just, I'm just going to throw that one out there. I think he could be a casualty in Mowbray's plans moving forward. But that's a talk for another day. Transfer, there's a transfer spectacular on my uh, YouTube channel, so feel free to check that bad boy out. But anyways, kick on to the statistics. Top goal scorer, da uh, Bradley Dak with 10 goals. Charlie Mulgrew's in there with 9. Squeezing into the charts now is Danny Graham with 8 goals. And then Dominic Samuels also in there with eight goals. Danny Graham on fire. Hopefully he'll get another start against Rotherham to continue his recent run of goals. Into the discipline. Smallwood's got nine yellows. Bennett's got six. Evans has got five. 
Williams has got five. Into the red hot reds. You don't want to be here. Elliot Bennett's got two reds. Simon's got one. Walton's got one. Harper has got one. As Rotherham have got an amazing bit of form. We're also on a tidy unbeaten run ourselves. But the last five games look like this. Out of a possible, well, it includes the FA Cup tie, so we can't really do that. Um, but we've, uh, out of the past four, anyway, we've won two, drawn two. Last time uh, out, we drew 2-2 two -two at home against a tricky Scunthorpe United side. Fourth place, might I add. Before that, we beat Rochdale at home. Uh, last time we were away was a trip to Northampton Town where we only could pick up a point. And before that, 16th of December, 2-0 win at home to Charlton Athletic. And right at the bottom of there, 13th of December, was the FA Cup replay against Crew Alexander, which we won 1-0. It was a very chilly evening. So this is our current run of form. Uh, it looks like 16 games unbeaten, maybe 17 with that black D in the middle there. That's the, the tie against Rochdale in the Checker Trade Cup. Um, and before and earlier on in the season, we did take on Rotherham at Ewa Park and we did pick up a 2-0 victory. That was all the way back 26th of September. We've well, heard what I've had to say about the match. What does the gaff have to say about the match? Here's an extended talking heads uh, shortly after the final whistle against Scunthorpe United. Well, from my point of view, yes, I think so. I think really frustrating. Um, just the nature of the goals we lost today was so unlike because it's you know we've defended so so brilliantly at times this year and been re resilient when we needed to and yet probably handed them two goals on a plate today. Um, at frustrating times, so we've never really managed to cement our authority. They always seem to get back in the game pretty quickly. Um, I think give them some credit. They're a good team. They're a well coached team. They um, we worked hard on on trying to deny the space that they work for in their formation, but. Um, Lots of positives, lots of really good stuff to do, lots of um, asking questions of them, shots at their goal, pressure in their half against a pretty good team that have gone a long time without losing a match as well and um, just the frustration is that we didn't manage to win it and I think we deserve to but you know, credit to them, um, they hit back twice but um, yeah, a little bit frustrating. Yeah, I think he deserved a goal himself tonight, you know, he worked extremely hard, his form's been really good, it's his birthday tomorrow, it would have been nice for him to to nick a goal. Um, let's, let's just keep going. Let's let's keep asking questions of teams. Let's keep the performance level as high as we can, um, and see where it takes us. What we do know is that it's a tough league. There's nobody rolls over. Every game's tough. But um, and I think these are one of the better teams in the league. We've had days when we've lost these games and mourned about them. Let's put the point in the bag. Let's uh, move on to the next game, the next challenge, and, and see where it takes us. I hope so. I've sold them that after the game. I think, listen, these are a decent side. As, as I said, they're a well-coached team. They've got a shape. They've got a way of playing that, that suits them. They ask questions of you. They play two strikers and they play number 10. And whether they play three at the back or four at back, they've still got like three players that are always out, ready to break away. Um, and I thought we managed it generally really well. I don't think that they, they really ever built up a head of steam like some teams can. I think just these isolated errors. I thought, you know, our goalie could have been better for the first. I think obviously Benno missed kicks in the six yard box for the second. Um, isolated things that I, I don't hold against any, anybody individuals who we win and lose as a team. And I thought we had enough to win today. And yet, as I said, let's put the point in the bag. Let's move on to the next game. Yeah, of course, that's OK, though. It's We have to accept that. You know, we know that Wigan aren't going to go away, definitely. And we know Shrewsbury at the moment aren't going away as well. So um, lots, still lots of games to play, lots of opportunities for us. We have to remain consistent. Um, going to be a big test for every team, I think, you know, to play two days from now. And obviously, we picked up a few knocks and injuries as well today. So we'll, we'll everybody in tomorrow will assess what we've got and we'll try and pick a team to go to Rotherham. Well, it's tough. It's tough, but I'm hoping it's tough for everybody. I'm hoping you know, Rotherham have probably picked up a few niggles today and a few tightnesses. You know, Danny was tight at half time on his hamstring, so we didn't want to risk it for too much longer. And um, you know, hopefully, he'll be okay to go again in a couple of days' time. But we have to be mindful of players of a certain age of, that would drive in them really, really hard. Um, because the last thing we need is longer term injuries for, for the squad. And it's not the deepest squad as it is at the moment and we need to um, we need to manage it and, and, and try and pick a team to go to Rotherham but you know have a, have a goal threat and um, but also you know keep it tighter than we did today and see if we can get three points. I think so, clinical um, 
quality, you know, that you want them chances to drop, you know, it's just one touch, it's in the back of the net. Um, yeah, listen, he's, he's, uh, what I would say about Danny is he's, he's working extremely hard, you know, he's, 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 he's in the autumn of his career, let's say, um, and yet he's found a work ethic and a desire and a, to, to help this club get promotion and to him to score the goals along the way and I know it's when he looks at it I was go scoring chart he sees some young books sort of scoring goals and he, I'm pretty sure being Danny Graham he wants to finish top the goal scoring charts if he can himself this year and you know doing what he did today you know isn't uh, isn't isn't gonna hinder that so we'll wait and see well he is really important he has, has been really important I think just we try to create some competition in them areas. Nuttall's brought that competition. Samuel obviously brings that competition. And Tonis and Dak, that's in the forward areas of the pitch, they have to keep trying to score goals and threaten the goal and make goals. And um, and I don't really care who scores them. I mean, Danny scored them today. The other days Bradley's been scoring them. So um, they, as long as they all contribute, then we'll be happy. Yeah, I saw the other day they were top scorers at home in the league this year. So it's a. a, a um, a test for us, a challenge for us. Um, they'll play on the front foot. They've um, got a physical presence in their team. Um, yeah, it's a good test. It's it's one that we should look forward to. We should relish. We um, we shouldn't fear going anywhere in this league. And um, hopefully, we can give a good account of ourselves. Over the years, a number of players have played for Rotherham United and Blackburn Rovers. Here are just three of them. Jordan Slew once represented the blue and white halves of Blackburn Rovers and he also played for Rotherham United. Next up, goalkeeper Bobby Mims. He was part of the championship winning side of 1994-95 for Blackburn Rovers. He wasn't first choice, but he was there. And he also played for Rotherham United. Wrapping it up is Lee Williamson, former Blackburn Rovers midfielder. Uh, he also played for Rotherham United. He's now on the books at Burton United or Burton Albion or whatever they call themselves. If you want to see the full list of the players that have played for both Rotherham United and Blackburn Rovers, head over to my WordPress site. Details in the description below. Full list of players that have played for Rotherham United and Blackburn Rovers. You've heard what I've had to say about the match. You've heard what Tony Mowbray's had to say about the match. What's the fans been saying on social media? Well, to be honest with you, it's not much, I'm afraid. It's slim pickings. Obviously, people are still talking about the Scunthorpe United game. But anyway, Patrick Coleman was on the Blackburn Rovers supporters' Facebook page. It's a bad result today, obviously speaking about the Scunthorpe game, finding it hard to catch the top two. He also replied to his own comment, I think, and he was trying to, I must have forgotten to say this originally, but Rotherham away won't be easy. I must agree with you. It's going to be a tough one. Jack Earnshaw on the Rovers' Facebook page said, walking out of the stadium, people saying our bubble has burst and we're going to get battered off Rotherham. It's blooming hilarious, he says. Uh, Gasmo1980 or at Gamma Rice on Twitter said onwards to Rotherham free shot at Hull then bring on the shrews he's looking well ahead into the Blackburn Rovers calendar Heather Johnson also on Twitter said frustrating but not the end of the world fingers crossed we pick up three at Rotherham Daniel Perrick also on Twitter said two points dropped do the business versus Rotherham like I said slim pickings today not much going on because the games are coming thick and fast and this one is less than 48 hours after the last one so it's getting to the point of the season now where every game counts so let's take a look at the rest of the schedule for new year's day let's take a look at wigan they have got a away tie against northampton meanwhile shrewsbury if i can spot them in there they've got a home tie against oldham who else are we looking out for let's take a look at scumthorpe Maybe we can open up a bit of a gap. They seem to have a, they seem to have a banker with a home tie against Berry. How about uh, Old Muckers uh, Blackpool? Where are they at? They're away to Rochdale. Bottom of the table, we have spoke them already. Um, Bradford are in the mix as well. They are taking on Fleetwood Town. You've heard what I've had to say. You've even heard what the gaffers had to say. You've even heard what some of the fans have been saying. But all of that does not matter. What really matters is what Cast the Cat thinks will happen this time out between Rotherham United and Blackburn Rovers.
that's all I've got today folks but if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers this is it game four of four of the Christmas bundle so let's wrap it up with three points kick off the new year in style uh, I have also want to give a big shout out to the guys at the BRFCS forum if you haven't done so uh, check out the forum there's a link in my description below uh, it's a great chance for you to meet with fans or chat with fans from all around the globe or even down the road. So let's kick off 2018 with a win at Rotherham United. Let's keep on pushing forward and close the gap on the top two. Anyway, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll get you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.